Hello and welcome back to Lorfet Gaming Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 The Sith Lords. I'm your host Lorfet and in Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 build video we're building the Vista Utility build. As always like, comment, and subscribe my channel for more Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 builds like this. Do not forget to hit that notification bell so be updated and much more. Here are the pros and cons of this build. You're going to have a lot of light side powers and a few dark sides. So you'll be able to be offensive and of course be able to buff and lock down enemies. So you'll be doing a lot of that. Number uh, two, you have a little bit of an offensive oomph there. And you'll be able to use some of the feats as uh, well. And uh, number three, because you're Vissa, you'll be able to go back and forth without little issues for force points with light and dark side. Now uh, the uh, con this build is... You're not going to be the best uh, frontline damage dealer, nor your force power is going to be seriously up there since you're uh, playing a balancing act. I'm going to go ahead and start leveling up Vissa, first of all, from level 7 to 10. Now, the uh, very good news is that Vissa is going to be a Jedi Sentinel from 7 to 50, so no class change or anything like that. Let's go over skills. We're going to go ahead and do is Stealth, Awareness, and of course, Treat Injury. That's the only thing we could do. So, awareness and of course, treat injury is good for her. As for uh, feats, we're going to go ahead and get some offensive and then mix around with some, of uh, course, uh, other feats. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, grab, first of all, is improve two weapon fighting. Main hand, off hand, if it's the same, minus four, minus four. If it's an off hand, one of them, it's uh, minus two, minus four. So, we'll get her in the dual wielding. If not, at least we we'll use a double bladed lightsaber. She has some light and dark side powers, so. I'm going to go ahead and build up some light size. So Force Valor gives everybody plus two in save throws and, of course, their attributes. Which is a good buffing, of course, I should say, Jedi power. Now we get Vista to level eight. So every level to four, your characters get attribute point one. In this case, Vista does two. So I'm going to go ahead and get that constitution to 18. Uh, reason being, I'm taking a big gamble for it due to the fact that I want to get all the, uh, you know, implants equipped eventually I'll uh, either work on uh, I'll work on Dex probably since she's a uh, tailor for a Dex uh, frontline fighter so for now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, work on his computer use and awareness and uh, treat injury that's the way to go so this way I have awareness and treat injury there so let's see here what we're gonna do is uh, burst of speed so what happens is is uh, you get two defense and of course you move double the movement speed it's a self buff it's very good for Visa. Now, if it's us, um, we'll uh, now level up to 9. Yep, our Jedi Sentinel. And we're going to go ahead and do that. As for skills, uh, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and do computer use, awareness, and uh, treat injury. Awareness and treat injury is my main two. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and do master two weapon fighting. What that is, is uh, mayhem, if the mayhem offhand matches, minus two, minus two. Uh, otherwise, it'll be... Uh, zero minus two if you have an offhand now let's go ahead and do a heal this will heal everybody in the party so we'll have her like a little backup healing just in case things start to get a little hairy that's about it for this uh level Visus will now be level 10 so character level 10 so let's uh go ahead and knock that level out of the way ignore unarmed specialist she's not gonna be a boxer that's handmaid's job if you uh spec her do so computer use awareness and treat injury and let's see your powers. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do his Knight's Valor. Now, not only uh, that will give you three uh, attribute points. And, of course, I should say duh, 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 the other one. I sh um, Yeah, save throws. You also get immune to poison. Everybody does. It's a good uh, force power to abuse and use for the party. Now, this section will cover level 11 to 20. Vissas will now uh, get some immunity since Jedi Sentinels always get that. It's automatic, so let's go ahead and do computer use, awareness, and of course, treat injury. As for powers, okay, we'll ignore the uh, lightsaber forms, just uh, pick whatever one you feel comfortable with. Uh, night speed is a self buff that gives you four defense, one extra attack, and your movement speed is like really uh, doubled. So it's good to have. So extra attack is always nice for a utility build like this. Uh, that's about it for this level. Let's move on to the next one. Now, Vissas will be level 12. Again, every level of 4, you get yourself a free attribute point. Vissas will uh, be no different. So, let's go ahead and get that uh, constitution. We'll get that to 18. 
this build, I'm going to do it due to the fact that, yeah, she'll be using some utility and such, which is a uh, very uh, good idea. Hit the OK. As for skills, uh, computer use, awareness, and treat injury. So treat injury and awareness will be our top priority. Now we have our final uh, Sentinel uh, free feet, which is uh, immunity to paralysis. So she's immune to stun, fear, and paralysis now. So basically uh, most of the uh, nasty stuff, which is a good thing. So we got that done. And now we got the two weapon fighting. You can use a double blade lightsaber or a lightsaber in each hand. I'm going to go ahead and do Master uh, Flurry. So with that feat is, is uh, there will be no penalties and you get an extra attack when you use this uh, powerful feat. There's a debate between that and a power attack. There's another lightsaber form. Again, uh, experiment with those as always. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, see what else I need to do for light side powers. Okay, we can't do any of the uh, good ones. So what we're going to do is uh, stun droid. So a droid can be stunned for 12 seconds if they don't pass any saving throws. Vissus will have some good, uh, I say, wisdom in that as uh, well. Now we're level up Vissus to level 13. So this is character level 13, straight shot. Always like that. And some builds makes it easier to do. So let's uh, go ahead and do it. As for skills, computer use, awareness, and uh, tree injury. I like to have a backup computer user just in case things go sideways or something in the story. You never know. Okay, we got all the combat feats I wanted, all the weapon feats. I was going to do toughness. However, I felt like a better way to actually uh, go ahead and do it is forced regeneration points. The reason why I want to get that feat is uh, simple. You uh, regenerate your force points. We're going to be using that quite a bit. And then she's going to go in and hack them into pieces. That's how Vissus uh, does work with this uh, build. I will be making a wisdom uh, boosting build as well. She gets force channel, so you get to regenerate more force points. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, go over what we need to uh, get. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do disable droid. Now I'll hit a group of droids. And I'll be about, if I remember right, six seconds. They'll be disabled. It's a nice crowd control spell. It's good for her to abuse and use. Now Vissus will be level 14. So let's uh, go ahead and get that level for her. She's real kicked off character. Uh, ignore the unarmed, unarmed specialist due to the fact that, yeah, you're not a boxer. Computer use, awareness, and treat injury. As for powers, we got ourselves another lightsaber form. Experiment with those as always. We're going to go ahead and uh, boost up. Let's see here what I'm going to boost up. I'm going to do uh, destroy droid. This will affect a whole bunch of droids. It'll do damage to them or uh, crowd control them big time. Now we get Vissus to level 15. So we're doing well with her. Starting to learn the ropes with her. Some force powers abuse and use. That's how we roll. Uh, let's see. Computer use, uh, awareness, and of course treat injury. I'm not going to do stealth. She's not going to stealth much. There's better characters out there that could do it. Ian Balladur, who's a crafter. Yeah, you could do that if you could pull it off. I'm going to do toughness. This will give you one extra vitality point per level. It's retroactive. So, for example, you got at level 20. You get 20 extra vitality points. Just saying. Now we get ourselves some more uh, Jedi powers we really want. So I'm going to go ahead and do his Master Valor. You get 5 uh, points in uh, attributes and saving throws. And also, your party's immune to poison. This is a party uh, favorite spell you should use. You can also use it for skills as uh, well. Now get Vistas to level 16. Every level's a 4. You get yourself an attribute point. Just telling everybody that or anybody who just came into the uh, video. Attributes, we're going to go ahead and uh, boost up that uh, constitution. And we'll get that to 18. So she wears all the implants. Yeah, those implants can be very useful. So let's get her uh, on that at least. As for uh, skills, I'm going to go ahead and say computer use, awareness, and treat injury. As for powers, what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, master speed. So you do is uh, get four defense, two attacks per round, and you d double your movement speed. It's a self buff, and it's very good. She's not wearing any armor, by the way. Now, uh, next up is uh, Vissa, uh, level 17. And I, you see before you, she did get her max influence. So you get some extra force points for your main character. And foresight, which is like a warning system. Awareness, uh, treat injury, and of course, I'm going to say is computer use. That'll be like half the points of the other one, but that's fine with me. Uh, powers, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go over which one I want to uh, get. I'm going to work on uh, getting the uh, stun line, so this way we'll stun one foe eventually. After a few more levels, we'll stun a whole bunch of them. 
keep your crowd control options open in case uh, insanity is immune, of course. So we're uh, done with that uh, level. Now, uh, Visus will be level 18 at Jedi Sentinel. So we're getting her some very nice levels, grinding her out like crazy. In my case, I'm using the uh, EXP Minds trick. I have a video on that, so usual suspects like I did for for the skills. Ignore the unarmed specialist, she's not fist fighting. And May and Orion Bile Dur could uh, do that. There's a build for those. Um, improve uh, toughness, so any damage over 20, we get to start shaving 10% off, and we get the previous feat, Vitality uh, 1 per level. So we get ourselves a 10% uh, damage reduction on that. What we're going to do is Stasis is more powerful than Stun, locks one foe down, which is a uh, good thing. Now, uh, this is going to be level 19, so we're still getting her dark side powers before uh, going for some dark side ones for her. Uh, skills, uh, computer use, awareness, and uh, treat injury. We'll go ahead and uh, do that at this very time. As for feats, what we're going to go ahead and do is master toughness. You get the two previous feat bonuses, and you get one extra vitality point. So, uh, for example, you uh, taking that at uh, 20, now you get about, I should say, 40 extra points total. On vitality which is a good thing now we're gonna go ahead and do a stasis field it's an aoe lockdown spell holds them there if they don't pass their uh, wisdom saves or uh, will saves they get locked down Vissus could go in and hack them to pieces now we get Vissus to level 20 again every level of four you get yourself a uh, free uh, attribute point we're still gonna work on our uh, constitution so uh, we got two more levels after that after this we'll get our dexterity up there there you go. That's it for that. For skills, computer use, awareness, and treat injury. I say keep stealth at 10 because it's all right, but computer use is more useful skill for her. And uh, let's go ahead and get the force powers. Uh, let me uh, see. We're going to go ahead and uh, boost up her uh, healing. So now she gets to heal the party for uh, 15 vitality points plus every charisma modifier or anything else. And that's about it for this level. This section will cover Vissa from level 21 to 30, so if you played the game without any EXP mind tricks or the Corbon secret tomb trick, well, you'll be able to get to 30 that way. So let's get to level 21, usual suspect for the skills. Let's get ourselves a feat. Now we get ourselves a, a nice uh, feat. We got regeneration force powers, all the toughness ones. I'm going to go ahead and look. Let's start with the dual strike. That's a good one. So if you and Vissa attack someone else together, Vissa gets a plus two to hit, which is good. Let's see here. Let's do his uh, Master Heal. Master Heal will now heal 15 Vitality, plus one point every Charisma Modifier, and also Wisdom Modifier and two times a level or so. Very powerful heal for everybody. Now, uh, Vissa is going to level up to Jedi Sentinel 22. So let's uh, go ahead and get her up there. Okay, ignore the uh, unarmed fighting. We're not going to be a fighter like that. Uh, compare use awareness and treat injury. Let's uh, go ahead and hit the OK button afterwards. Now, uh, let's see here. Okay. Um, next, let's, let's uh, go ahead and grab it. I'm just going to make sure everything's fine. And uh, powers. Okay, we got healing done. Uh, let's go ahead and do revitalize. So if one allies down, then you use that force power. Then gain 5% of their vitality back. A good revive spell, okay, rest spell as uh, well. Now, uh, this is going to be uh, Jedi Sentinel level 22, so uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, do that. Skills, uh, let's see here, computer use, awareness, and treat injury. There you go, as for powers, um, let me see here, force power, let's go and select. And uh, I'm just going to try to decide. I'm going to go ahead and get the... Uh, you guessed that the uh, improve uh, revitalize. It's like the first one, but it affects everyone. So if two people down, she could pop both people back up with thanks to this force power. So let's go ahead and lock that in, and that's about it for uh, level 23. Now uh, Vistas is going to be uh, Jedi Sentinel level 24. Every level is a four. She gets a free attribute point. Let's uh, go ahead and do that. And we're going to do is a uh, Constitution. At 17, so yeah, most of the levels she'll be uh, doing constitution, and then she'll uh, start getting that dex up there. Computer use, awareness, and treat injury. As for feats, we get ourselves uh, another feat, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, get, let's see here, the second uh, uh, team attack one. So instead of plus two, 
when her and a ally attacks one target, she gets plus four bonus to hit the Emni. So it's like a more chance to hit, chance to kill. That's the thing I used to say in uh, Diablo 1. So what we'll uh, do is uh, Master Revile Allies. Instead of 5%, both allies get back. They get 10% of their vitality back from uh, being uh, dead. Now we get Vissus to level 25. So things are looking up. We're uh, about to pass a halfway point in the 20s. So let's go ahead and do the skills. Uh, let's see. Computer use, awareness, and treat injury. So let's go ahead and do that. As for feats, um, we're uh, done. Let's go ahead and get the last one. Master Dual Strike. So you get plus six bonus to hit on an enemy if you and Vissa attack the same one at the same time. That's a very powerful feat. If you, uh, the main character has it too, the main character gets that as well. Uh, improved energy resistance. This is an AoE version. First 12 points get shaved off of elemental damage. Now we get Vissa to. Uh, you guessed it, Jedi Sentinel 26, not 25, 26. Ignore the unarmed specialist, that's for handmade and Baldur type of builds. Usual suspects for the skills, let's go to powers. Okay, let me see here, we're going to do his uh, Master Energy Resistance. So first 20 uh, points in elemental uh, damage will be shaved off, and it's a party favorite spell too. So the entire party gets that, they get to abuse that, and uh, let the uh, good times definitely uh, roll. Uh, that should be about it for uh, this uh, level. Now, uh, this is going to be Jedi Sentinel 27, so uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, get that level. Uh, skills, computer use, awareness, and treat injury. And yeah, we got 20 on one skill and 30 on the other two. Let's go to feats. We get ourselves another feat uh, where we got the uh, team attack done. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this one. Regenerate vitality points. That's one way to go. Another uh, good one is, let me uh, go ahead and look. There's a few good ones I could do. A few good options. Let's uh, do that. Yeah, regenerate vitality points. The rest I'll get as I level up. So we'll regenerate vitality points faster outside combat. That's what we want. Now we get some nice options to pick from. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do his force. Uh, I'll do force Aurora. That'll boost up Vista's defense by herself. That's one way to do it. Another way is force barrier. But I like also, uh, let's see here, there's good options here you could pick. Universal and uh, light side powers. Um, a battle meditation that is plus two damage, attack, and uh, wisdom save and regeneration for the entire party, including her too. Now we get Vistas to character level 28, every level is a four. Once again, you get yourself an attribute point. And we're going to get to our uh, attribute to 18, so now she's going to be able to da, 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 equip every single implant in the entire game that's what we're going to go ahead and do so she has 18 uh, decks as well we'll work on that too we'll uh, go ahead and uh, get those points up there okay let's get rid of the stealth we're not gonna put points in the stealth nope uh as for uh powers let's go ahead and uh, get that done we're good is the uh second tier bow meditation so now uh, not only everybody gets positive foes who attack you get minus two attack rolls minus two damage minus two will saves the uh, plus two bonuses still apply for everyone who's uh, friendly to the party. And that's about it for this uh, level. Vissus is going to be uh, level 29. So let's go ahead and do that. Get that out of the way. Skills. Uh, computer use, awareness, and uh, treat injury. There you go. As for powers, let's do his master battle meditation. So the party now gets plus four attack rolls, damage, and will saves, and regenerate hit points. Our foes get minus four attack rolls, minus four damage, and minus four will saves. Now we get Vistas to level 30, so we're getting out of the 20s, getting right into the 30s now. So let's go ahead and do it. Skills, uh, usual suspects, just like I did, as for feats. Ignore the unarmed specialist, she's not a fist fighter. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, see what I could grab now. I could go with so many good options there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab his weapon finesse lightsaber, that's a good one to do. I could do melee, but Weapon Finesse Lifesaver will uh, convert your, uh, instead of strength, there'll be uh, Dex and Strength, where it's the highest. So it'll be Dexterity, so it will uh, be able to, uh, now for a chance to hit, will be on Dexterity instead of Strength. So that's what we want. More chance to hit, more likely you're going to connect your blows. So now we'll go ahead and level up once again. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick Force Aurora, so Avissa herself gets two defense bonuses, which is uh, very good. And uh, we'll uh, stop there, and that's it for uh, this uh, level. This section will cover Vista's set Jedi Sentinel from level 31 to 40. Let's start out with level 31. 
skills, uh, computer use, awareness, and treat injury. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and do feats. We're going to go ahead and uh, get some defensive ones going. There's one I want to do. We'll ignore the uh, finesse uh, melee weapons. We don't need that uh, nonsense. Okay, uh, advanced GI defense. This happens you get plus three bonus in deflection rolls. And it's a good defensive uh, feat to have, especially if you're using lightsabers to deflect blasts or uh, hitting towards you, I say, or so. Uh, force shield, Vissa herself will get plus four uh, bonus in defense. That's what we want. Vissa, the Jedi Sentinel, will now be level 32. So let's go ahead and do that. Every level's a four, you get yourself a free attribute point. So let's do dexterity, because since we're uh, going to focus on uh, that, so, because uh, we have higher dexterity points than strength, so that uh, weapon finesse lightsaber will come into play. As for Vista, compare use, awareness, and treat injury. So, uh, let's go ahead and do force armor. So, Vista herself will now get plus six armor when using that force power. Vista will be level 33 now as a Jedi Sentinel, so let's uh, go ahead and uh, do that. So, pick the skills I'm picking, and uh, those three, there you go. Uh, as for feats, uh, let's see here. Um, okay, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the other one. Or I got the finesse uh, lightsaber. Don't need anything else. Let's go get the uh, this one. Jedi uh, Master Jedi Defense plus six uh, bonus to all uh, deflection rolls. Like, for example, blasters coming towards you, shooting you. You get to deflect that much better. Now let's go ahead and get force powers. We got some good options to pick. I'm going to go ahead and do his force resistance. So... Vissa would be able to resist the first uh, tier force powers if she succeeded a check. If she does, that will be for 60 seconds. Now, uh, Vissa is going to be level 34, so we're moving light nicely in the level 30s. So let's go with skills, compare use, awareness, and treat injury. Powers, um, let's go force immunity. So she's immune to all force powers as long as she passes the check. If she does, 60 seconds that uh, power will last. Very good defensive move in case there's an oh crap moment. Now, uh, Vissus is going to be level uh, 35 for a Jedi Sentinel, so halfway through the 30s already. Let's go ahead and do uh, skills, uh, computer use, awareness, and treat injury. Now, let's go on down the list, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, select his force body. So, with the cost of vitality, 50% and uh, force points, or force power will be really more up there. So, we'll get that line uh, done. Now, Vissus is going to be level 36, another level of 4. Every level is 4, you get yourself an attribute point. Something to look forward to is like Christmas. So we get Dexterity to 20, so she has a plus 5 mod on that. So that'll be good for a chance to hit with uh, lightsabers. Either dual blade it or uh, one in each hand. Pick the skills I picked. Let's go for feats. Now we're going to look for any others I feel like I need to uh, nab at this very time. Okay, uh, conditioning. So Vista will get 1 uh, plus in all save throws. We're going to try to get that to uh, 3 eventually. Uh, improved force body, so the penalty now drops down to 40% in health and uh, force points in a few more of your force powers. Now, uh, this is going to be Jedi Sentinel level 37, so let's go ahead and get more uh, light powers before we start the dark side. Uh, computer use, awareness, and treat injury. Let's see here, feats. Well, what we're going to go ahead and do is improve conditioning instead of plus two bonus to all saving throws. I mean, instead of plus one to all saving throws, I'm sorry, it's plus two, so. She gets a bonus on that. That will uh, be replaced by the next feat. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this one, uh, Master of Force Body. So it's 3% penalty in health and uh, force points in order to fuel your force powers more. Vistas is now going to be level 38. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and do that. Skills, uh, compare use, awareness, and treat injury. Let's go ahead and do this. As for uh, powers, okay, yeah, double check, make sure you do everything right. There you go. Let's go for power since we got that done. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do uh, this one. Force barrier. So it'll shave about four points of uh, blunt piercing and slashing damage for herself when you use that. Now, this is going to be level 39. So this is all good news. Let's uh, go ahead and get her up there. As for skills, let's start with that. Again, the same ones I did uh, at this time. You definitely will get awareness and treat injury by the time this is over to 50. The other one's going to be close to it. So let's do his uh, Master Conditioning. So Vissus will now get plus three uh, bonus to all saving throws. It will replace the other one. So this is good. So let's go ahead and do that. Lock it in. 
And uh, that should uh, definitely do it for uh, this uh, level. Let's get the force powers next. Yeah, always check, make sure you have all your force powers there. In case you missed something. As for uh, force powers, we're going to do is to improve force barrier. So now it's plus, it's eight points uh, shaved off from blunt piercing and slashing when she uses this force power. It's a nice light side power in case you're going against melee heavy enemies. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, end that level. Now, uh, Vistas is going to be level 40. So every level is a four. She gets herself, up, once again, a free attribute point. Now we're going to do is dexterity. Now, it's going to be odd. However, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put two more points in dexterity and one probably in charisma to even things out. So she have 22 dexterity by the time this build's over with and plus six mod on that. That's what I want. Now let's go ahead and do skills, uh, compare use, awareness, and treat injury. So let's do that there. And now uh, next up are powers. So let's go ahead and do uh, master uh, force barrier. So first 15 points of damage from blunt piercing and slashing gets shaved off. With this force power she uses for herself. This lasts is 60 seconds. So uh, this is a good force power. And that's about it for this uh, level. Now this section. The last section of levels. Level 41 to 50. Let's go ahead and start with level 41. In the Jedi Sentinel class for Vissus. Now let's uh, go ahead and do. Is compare use awareness and treat injury. Okay hit the OK button. As for powers. Now I'm going to go ahead and say. I'll probably start on my dark side powers. Or at least the certain ones so I'm gonna go ahead and do this one insanity it's a very powerful AOE uh, type of lockdown force power it's a dark side power Vista could use it freely without little penalty it's a very powerful uh, one to use so definitely want to pick that now we get Vista to level 42 so let's uh, go ahead and uh, do just this she's doing well she's fighting she's using force power jumping in when, when we actually need her as for feats, after the usual suspects for the skills, let's go ahead and select it. So now we got all the uh, conditionings done, you uh, name it. So we're going to go ahead and start looking for some uh, strays. Ignore the uh, fist fighting feats. You're not using that. So uh, let's see here. Okay, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, do is uh, improve critical strikes. So when we use it, our threat roll drops to 18 to 20. You lose about five defense. Uh, the uh, force shielding line. You get to a six, that's just a plus one defense on it. It negates that penalty. Now we're gonna go ahead and do is force our whirlwind's a powerful version of push, and what that does is is uh locks them down a bit more. So we're gonna get the last of the lockdown force abilities before we get dark side powers like for example force uh, storm and such. And uh that's about it. So let's we'll grab this lockdown power and we'll uh finish it on uh up. Now, Vistas is going to be a Jedi Sentinel 43 next, so let's not waste any more time and hit that level up button. Skills, uh, computer use, uh, awareness, and treat injury. So let's go ahead and put that there. Uh, let's see here. We'll get Master Critical Strike. Now, the threat range drops to 17 to 20. Uh, when you need to do Critical Hit, you still get the minus 5 defense, but you know what? It works with melee weapons only. Lightsabers, melee weapons, you name it. That's why we have it as for powers. Now we're going down and we're going to go ahead and get his uh, force waves, the AOE type of pushback attack. Folks get held after they get pushed back. Very powerful use. It's last of the uh, crowd control type ability. So let's go ahead and grab it. And that should definitely be it for this level. Now we get Vistas to character level 44 for the GI Sentinel. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and do that. Every four levels, get yourself an attribute point. This is one of the last two in the 40s. Now we got Dex at 22, so next time I could do at 23 or even up that Charisma to uh, 16. So put Dex 22 for now. As for uh, skills, let's go ahead and uh, do that. Compare use, awareness, and treat injury as for powers. So we already got for, uh, the force push line done. So we get some options. I'm going to go ahead and uh, see what I want to uh, do. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, grab this. I'm trying to figure it out. Okay, I'm going to grab and throw a lightsaber so in case we need to use a throw. So, 1 6 damage, 1 target. It's every 2 levels that damage increases. So, if we need to uh, knock a foe out from a far distance, we'll uh, do that. So, we'll grab that. Eventually, I will uh, get some more dark side powers, and that's about it for this uh, level. Now, uh, this is going to be level 45. So, uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, grab that level. So, we're halfway through the 40s. So let's go ahead and do computer use, awareness, and uh, treat injury. 
Now for feet, let's go ahead and select which one I want. I'm going to look to make sure I grabbed everything else of the uh, matter. Yeah, double check at this time because it's just getting to the point where feet are going to be a little bit sparse to get and uh, more. So uh, let's see. Let's grab uh, this one. Let's start the power attack line. We'll get it. So we get plus three damage, minus three to hit. And uh, crit, uh, critical hit modifier is uh, times one, I say multiplier. So uh, we got that done. I'm going to go ahead and grab this one, advanced lightsaber throw. So it goes up to three targets now, same as the other one for damage. So it's very nice in case we want to troll some foes that way. And that's about it for uh, this uh, level. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, move to the uh, next one. Now, uh, Vistas is going to be Jedi Sentinel level 46. Let's uh, go ahead and get that done. And let's see here. Let's grab that. Skills, uh, computer use, awareness, and treat injury. We're almost getting 50 for the main two. So now we get some uh, choices to be uh, made. And I'm going to go ahead and do his uh, force suppression. This will cancel out tier 1, 2 force powers. Great to use against uh, tough foes. So if they side buff themselves up, we uh, cancel their powers. They'll do it again. By the time they keep on doing it and doing it, our allies is uh, messing them up pretty badly. That's about it for this uh, level. Now, uh, this is, is going to be you uh, guessed to everyone, level 47. So let's go ahead and do skills, compare use, awareness, and treat injury. Awareness and treat injury is now at 50. This is good news. Now we're going to do is force uh, uh, breach. Now this will give, give her all force powers. And uh, this is a great way to take out tough foes uh, buffs. So it's a good idea if you're facing a tough boss or something. Remove their powers and then uh, let the good times roll. And that's about it for this level. Now, Vistas is going to be level 48. Every level is a 4. You get your attribute point. This is the last level to do so. So let's do it for a Jedi Sentinel class. Attributes, I'm going to go ahead and say is you could do Dexterity. I'm going to do Charisma to even it out. So she's more likely also to use light and dark side powers with little to no penalty. So she's light side. She'll use some dark side powers without a little bit of issues. Computer use awareness and tree injury. Hit the OK button on those. Now for feats, we're going to go ahead and do his power attack. Now the improved version, uh, instead of I think three, it does now is, uh, if I remember correctly, yeah, it does, uh, I think it's uh, eight. No, it's seven, yeah. It's seven to attack, minus three to hit, and your uh, crit modifier still increases by one. So the damage goes up. Great against weak foes. So now we get some uh, nice choices to uh, make. So uh, let's be careful here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, select that this time. Uh, Force Lightning. It does a frontal arc against foes. does a lot of damage. Uh, max on that is 10 to 60. And also, if I remember correctly, your Wisdom and Chris Modifier uh, is, uh, comes into play as well. Also, to resist it, Wisdom and Chris Modifier too. Now, Vistas is going to be level 49, so we're going to go ahead and uh, level that up. And we're also going to grab Force Storm too, I believe. Let's uh, get that. Uh, skills. Uh, computer use uh, awareness and treat injury. Let's go for feats. Uh, master power attack. So your damage is plus 12. When you use it, minus 3 to hit. We got so much dexterity that won't matter. And our critical hit multiplier is by 1 plus now. Increases the multiplier. So we're going to do is 4 storm. So it's an AoE powerful attack. Does uh, within 10 meters 1 to 6 damage. Maximum total, if I remember, is I think it's 60 uh, or uh, more. Your Wisdom and Charisma modifier comes into play for damage and also resistance as well. Best uh, Dark Side Power AoE attack in the game. Now we get Vistas to level 50, the last level of the game, so make sure you get everything done. This is it here. Skills, computer use, awareness, and treat injury. That's about it for this uh, level for skills. As for powers, so uh, at this time we can only pick one, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, select this... Uh, Choke. It does is it uh, trains more uh, hit points or so, and of course our foes get minus four penalty to Constitution, Dex, and uh, Strength. So this is a great uh, move to uh, troll some foes. We we'll do it with Vista if we really need to. If we uh, want to, we could do the Scream, or whatever. But I think the uh, Choke line is good enough for uh, her, and uh, that should definitely uh, do it for Force powers. I'm gonna lock that in Choke, and that's about it. So we're done leveling up Vistas from level uh, 1 to 50, basically. Well, actually, 7 to 50. 
Next part is build video is uh, influence I want to talk about briefly and suggested party members. Let's uh, first go over influence for Vista. So if you get Vista to max influence, your main character get extra force points and uh, foresight, which is like a warning system that are, there are enemies up ahead. So suggested party members and will actually fit perfectly with Vista due to the fact that uh, he could be a uh, person that will uh, benefit from her crowd control. Bilder is all right. It's also good for frontline fighting if you need that. Same thing with Mandalorian, but this is a, uh, a light side playthrough. If it's dark side with this is the same format, that's fine as well. Handmade is a good uh, combination as uh, well if you need a frontline fighter, if your main character also is a Jedi consort or something like that. Now, uh, Kira, she's good to match up with Vista, so both of them could uh, double team with Force Lightning and uh, lock things down. Mirror's good for uh, damage. Uh, I should say uh, range damage. As for Har Harnar, the uh, evil Wookiee, good for uh, two weapon melee attacks. Great for that. T3 M4 is not bad for uh, DPS. Uh, HK47 is mainly good for a dark side playthrough for uh, shooting things up. Goto is all right, but it's uh, go. You only need bring Goto if uh, there's droids annoying you like crazy. So I'll probably say is if your uh, main character is a melee character, Vissa and Atten's a good combination, or uh, Vissa and uh, Mira. Uh, another good one is uh, Vissa if it's a uh, for instance a, uh, a spell casting character like a Jedi Consort or so. Then uh, of course you bring someone like Handmaiden or uh, even Baldur or so. That's about it for party suggestion. Let's move on to the next section. Equipment in Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 is different than the first one. Most of the equipment you do find is RNG, random on generation, from crest rewards, drops, or even containers. Now, Vistas, you could go uh, either way with her, either wisdom slash charisma gear, or I should say dexterity gear. You can mix it up as uh, well. If you, need, if you feel like something's lacking, then uh, go ahead and do it. This is a utility build, so go for it. As for weapons, if you cannot find two lightsabers, Go for a double bladed lightsaber. The two weapon fighting feet will actually work with that as uh, well. So I'm going to go over the equipment for Vistas, including uh, lightsabers too. Now this section is going to cover more of the Wisdom and Christmas stuff. So here we go. For implants, go for a mental boost D package, plus three Wisdom, Intelligence, and Charisma. It requires 18 con, uh, con to use. If you uh, do not uh, found that, I'll go for something lower. Headgear, I would advise the Force Focusing Visor, plus one Charisma, plus four Wisdom, regenerates two Force Points. If you can't find any of that, go for Immunities or something like Wisdom, or even something with, sometimes with Dex in it too. Next set of uh, equipment. As I'm uh, doing a Utility Build for a Vista, so we're going ahead uh, for the Hands, is actually go for Dex. Look for a J Shay. Uh, meditation gloves, plus two awareness, plus two dex, and plus two wisdom. If not, look for any other dexterity gloves. As for arms and uh, shields, go to Vart Pine Prototype Shield. Absorbs energy, sonic, cold, heat, and electric to 170 uh, points total. Also get the melee shields as uh, well. Let's move on to the next set of gear. As for belt, I decided to go for dexterity to boost up more uh, chance to hit with weapons. Now the Arca Tech Echo Belt gives you 10 stealth plus 4 dexterity. It's a stealth generating belt. If you cannot find any more belts like that, look for any dexterity ones that are out there that's similar to it. Now let's get to the uh, robes. Let's uh, go over the robes, shall we? Dark Jedi Master or Jedi Master robes. They're both the same, about 3 defense. And I think it regenerates hit points or force points. Forgot which, but the more important thing is the upgrades you want in those. Armor playing overlay 4, gives you plus 2 dexterity, plus 1 reflex, saves innate stealth, requires 27 repair to craft. After that, Vista could install in any robes. Here's a good one as well, environmental underlay 5, 30% versus cold, fire, and also resists 10 points of first damage versus cold and uh, fire. Requires 26 demolition to craft. If you can't find any robes like that, look for a dex one. If you find a wisdom one, go ahead and take advantage of that as well, if you need some wisdom or uh, charisma points too. Now, if you decide to go for Vista's armor, if you could equip it, here's the uh, light armor you want, the Jal Shea Mentor armor. This gives you Persuade plus one, Charisma four, Wisdom plus one, and Defense four. Now, to upgrade it, you want Energy Shielding four, which is 30% versus Energy Damage, which is good. It requires 30 Demolition to craft, and the Strengthening Underlay five, which is plus three Strength and plus three Con. We're mainly going for the Con, but Strength is nice as a bonus. It requires 20 Night Treat Injury to craft. If you can't find a light armor that uses force power, look for something similar. 
And that's about it for equipment. Let's talk about now lightsaber options or say lightsaber advice. Now for lightsabers, I'm gonna go over to crystals. This is gonna be a mix up type of thing. She's a utility type of character. The uh, Kaber crystal plus three constitution plus three wisdom plus three regeneration as well. I think it's force points. Uh, another good one is the Kasha crystal plus one attack and plus two wisdom. If you can't find any crystals, look for something close to it. If it has dexterity, take advantage of that as well. Now for upgrading your own lightsaber in the main hand. Uh, here's the three you want to get for energy cells, ultimate dilithium energy cell plus five on the energy damage it requires 29 computer use to craft. Once you craft it, you can install any lightsaber you want that is allowed to be upgradable. Now for emitters, expert fencing, fencing emitter plus five defense bonus, three energy damage requires 27 repair to craft. Your main character should have high repair regardless. So let that main character craft that for Vissus. Now for lenses is the Ponti lenses. Plus one attack, and you also get 2 to 12 energy damage. Requires 27 awareness to craft. Any character with awareness on them, make sure they craft it and they give it the Vista's lightsaber. Let's move to the offhand. Now, if you do get some offhand lightsabers, do take advantage of it. So, for Crystal, the Arcarius uh, Sapphire, this gives you Keen. Lowers your uh, threat rolls from critical hits. Plus one dexterity, plus two strength. And plus two, I think it's health regen. Now the other one's a good one to pair with is Amparai Crystal plus three attack, one to eight energy damage. If you can't find any of these two, look for something similar to it. If it has Dex in it, go for it. If it has Wisdom or uh, Charisma, go for that as well. Now let's go for the offhand upgrades. Now for the offhand for lightsaber to upgrade itself, go for energy cells, ultimate dot lithium energy cell, same as main hand. As for emitters, uh, go for the expert fencing emitter as well. Uh, lenses, the Ponti lenses too, just same as the main hand. That's about it for lightsaber advice. Next part is build videos, combat, and tactics. Now for Vista with this utility build, you want to definitely buff up as always. For uh, combat, make sure your party members buff up as well. We're using Mira, Handmay, and Vista together as a team. So what we're going to do is uh, lock down our foes as always. So you use Stasis Field or Insanity after that. It's up to you. If you feel like you're strong in the melee department, then uh, guess what? Go medium, or uh, if not, go ahead and just shock them to death. Also, a good idea to be a healer as well, just to keep your eye on everything. So, yeah, see if it's already doing some damage. And, uh, of course, Handmaid's finishing them off. So, it's up to you on what department you want to go for, melee, or force powers after everything else. If you can't crowd control, try to take them out as uh, quickly as uh, possible. This build you could use for melee or uh, lock things down, or if the tough gets going, heal like crazy. That's about it for combat demonstration. Here's some final advice before I do end this build video. Always buff up before combat. When you're ready to battle, lock everything down if you need to. If you want to, send your uh, melee fires to kick some serious butt. If you have some ranged fires like Aten or uh, Mira, have them blast away, of course. Yeah, let me get... Uh, Mira to uh, definitely uh, do that. So you can either uh, stand back, use your force powers, or if you feel like your melee characters need some serious help, you could go to them and kick some serious butt together. This is a utility build. You can go front line to kick some butt, or hang back and just use your force powers to lock things down, or wreck foes like crazy. Anything can happen with this build, and it's very beneficial. This is it for my Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 Vista Utility Build video. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night. And do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more Star Wars content just like this. If you like what you see, then pick my suggestion on the upper left hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left hand corner. May the Force be with you. <laughs>